Real quick, we're gonna talk about the requirements for ground rods when you're putting in a service, how many you need, and what size you should get. There's half inch and five eighths. If you wanna read more about the specific requirements for electrodes permitted for grounding, that information is located in the National Electrical Code in 250.52. And if you go down to part five, in that section, it's gonna talk about rod and pipe electrodes. And it says that rod and pipe electrodes shall not be less than eight feet in length and shall consist of the following materials. And part B specifically talks about what we're looking at here and that is that rod type grounding electrodes of stainless steel and copper or zinc coated steel shall be at least 5 8 inches in diameter unless listed. When installing ground rods for a new service you're going to have to have at least two ground rods unless you have a fancy tester that can prove that there's less than 25 ohms of resistance to ground. The 5 8 ground rod is going to have more surface area than the half inch which kind of goes without saying so it's going to make a slightly better connection to earth. So most likely you're gonna to have to purchase two ground rods and you need to make sure that they're driven at least six feet apart. That is the code minimum. Personally I'd go more like eight to ten feet apart uh, but six feet is the minimum. And the price is actually super similar. You can see this one's these two are only a dollar difference for the different diameters. Since the cost isn't that different honestly I would just go with the five eighths. The reason is that half inch ground rods are permitted so long as they are listed with underwriters laboratories or possibly other listing agencies but this marking has to be visible if you're going to be using a half inch ground rod from that perspective the only reason to go with a half inch ground rod is that it's going to be a little bit easier to drive into the ground so in the end my recommendation would be to go with two 5 8 ground rods that are eight feet long and you'll be good to go just make sure they're six feet apart and you'll be set. If you found this video to be useful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. I'll put some more electrical videos here on the screen for you to choose from. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check them out. See ya.